Welcome to another edition of Outstanding in the Field, a series of stories of adventure the staff at U.S. Geological Survey's Northern Rocky Mountain Science Center have experienced while they were out standing in the field. Amy McLeod is a wildlife biologist research assistant who works on the Northern Divide Grizzly Bear Project. In this video, she tells us about the dirtiest part of her job, making the scent lure. The scent lure is used to attract bears to an area so that hair samples can be collected. Don't worry, Amy doesn't collect the hair from bears directly. Instead, she sets up a barbed wire hair snag that the bear must crawl under or over. The hair is used for DNA analysis. She and her boss, Kate Kindle, collected enough hair samples in the Northern Continental Divide ecosystem to estimate the grizzly bear population to be approximately 765. Let's hear Amy's story. Amy, tell us what it's like to make the scent lure. It's messy. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, it's a whole lot of dead, rotting fish and rotting blood. And especially in 2004, we had hundreds of barrels of it that we had to sieve out the chunks from the fish <laughs> and uh, take the liquid and mix it with the blood. So the uh, the smell you get used to it permeates everything you have on uh, and there is a constant hum of flies that you get really used to and when you go home at night there's the absence of that sound which so it's eerily quiet when you're when you spent the whole day in the lure barn so and it's amazing but lure can actually go bad and smell worse if the flies actually get into it and lay a bunch of eggs and maggots hatch, they create ammonia and then our our lure is bad. So we have to make more than we really need because some of it will eventually go bad because even it, if we really try pulling the lids on and off to keep the flies out, the odd one might still get in there. But even doing that, we seal it up with a garbage bag in between the lid and the barrel and the rim tends to get flies and so you end up with this ring of maggots on the outside of the barrel too. <laughs> this podcast is a product of the U.S. Geological Survey Department of the Interior.